Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your th I'm your host, Theophilus McPherson. Life Journey Church is to here to tell you the truth. My friend, it's a series of of message that I have. I preach more about. I'm gonna tell you what I preach more about. I preach more about the, about the witches. I preach more about salvation, and I preach more about hell. And today I'm going to talk about hell. I'm going to talk about you have memory in hell. I'm talking about you want to have your faculties. Your faculties you can see in hell. You can taste in hell. You can have memory in your past life while on earth. So never think that you going to don't remember. You have an opportunity to give your life to Jesus Christ. My friend, I'm backing everything I'm saying with the scripture. I'm backing everything I'm saying with the scripture about a rich man and the poor man. The rich man, he has something every day. And poor Lazarus won a crumb that fell from his table. And this man walked away from Lazarus almost every day. And the Bible say both men died. Yes, both men died. Die. Now, a lot of people might think when you're rich, you're in heaven, and when you're poor, you're in hell, but that's not the case, my friend. That's one of the reasons why I gave the World Bank, because the World Bank was a mockery toward poor people. Yes, they say they dream of one day ending poverty, and my friend, the people in this world are poor. Yes, people in this world are poor. Poor, and they're making mockery concerning the poor. But the Bible say both men died and Lazarus went to paradise and the rich man went to hell. And in hell, he had torment day and night. And he had a audacity to say, Father Abraham, send Lazarus, may dip the tip of his finger and cool my tongue because I'm in his place of torment. My friend, I'm telling you, you have memory in this place. My friend, you're going to remember the day that you heard this message and you scorn it. You laugh at it. You criticize it. You say there's no such thing as hell. I'm telling you, memory going to play a big part in your experience when you stand before God and God going to say, I never knew you. So I'm telling you, to, I'm making this video for you because I don't want you to end up in hell. Hell is a serious matter. Don't let nobody take you, your mind away from your destiny. Your destiny, one day you're going to taste the living hell. My friend, I'm telling you. Don't make the mistake like a lot of people are making by saying that you're going to live on earth. When you live on earth, you're going to die like a dog. No, you're not going to die like a dog because we was made in the image of God. And death is that we're going to experience it. In another chapter, I'm telling you that the hell was made for the devil and his angel. But it seemed like wicked people are going to hell. Yes, you are damn God. You say that I don't need God in my life. I got my money. I got my house. I got my large cars. I got my my money in the bank. I'm making six feet. I don't need God. But I'm telling you, my friend, you on, we all need God. Whether you're rich, you're poor, you're white, or black. I don't care what nationality you are. We still need God. So memory gonna be in heaven and memory gonna be in hell. Oh, glory to God. I'm telling you, my friend, we all gonna experience this part of hell. Oh, glory to God. I decided to choose heaven and shun hell because the lifestyle I used to live, yes, the lifestyle I used to live, I was destined 
to hell. I was destined to doom, not gloom, doom, even though I was living a life of gloom. I was a player, but I, I decided not to play the game that men's play. Hey, Gortica, what a game that men play. Men play their macho. Men play, I don't need God. But I'm telling you, if you're a man and you're watching this video, you need God. And if you're a woman and you think you don't need God because you got good shape, you got Coca-Cola bottle shape, you got long hair, you got beautiful eyes, you got a nice cheek, and everybody say, everybody whistle at you. My friend, you need God. We all need God. So I'm telling you, there's going to be memory in hell. Yes, memory. You're going to remember the, the time that you have the opportunity to give God your life and you decided to turn the other cheek. You decide to, to procrastinate. You decide to say, I do it at a convenience time. But I'm telling you, there's going to be memory in hell. So I'm telling you, my friend, don't make the mistake in your life of not accepting Jesus Christ in your life. It's going to be hot down there. It's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth. There's going to be no party in hell. There's going to be no pretty, pretty girls in hell. There's going to be no handsome guys in hell. There's going to be no party, no Budweiser, no air condition, no water in hell. So I'm making this video to tell you, my friend, there's going to be memory. You're not going to lose your eyes. You're not going to lose your ears. You're not going to lose your feelings. And you're not going to lose your faculty of memory in hell. So do yourself a favor. Repent before it's too late. What is too late? Too, too late is, to the Bible say, boast not for tomorrow because you know not what tomorrow may bring.